In this video, I'm gonna give you a free text pack that looks like this. It's called the Typewriter Effect Pack. And look at how amazing it looks. I just moved to beautiful Brisbane, Australia just a few weeks ago. And I'm here in the beautiful Queen Street Mall. I've shot so much stuff here over the years. In this new series called Freebies, I'm gonna show you a new free digital product that our team made just for you. And over the course of the episode, I'm gonna actually show you how to use it in After Effects. If you wanna check out any other episodes we have in this series, feel free to check it out in the description below. Now let me show you how to use this pack. All right, go to the description, download the zipped folder, and then download the project file inside. This is the free typewriter pack. This pack is really, really easy to use. Once you're inside of After Effects, all you gotta do is click on literally any of these comps, and you go over to where you see your text in the composition window. You type whatever you want in here, and then you just press play. You can do that for literally any of these comps. It's the same thing. Just replace the text and then press play. And you will get all of these different text animations, whether it's like a really fast, hard type, a smoother, faster type. And then, of course, we have different speeds, medium speed. We have the slow, hard type, the slow speeds as well. Check this out. Look how slow that one is. Amazing. And then all I gotta do is export. As far as exporting, as always, you gotta just click on File, go to Export, then go to Add to Render Queue. And then in the Render Queue, you have all of these options. You're gonna click on Output 2, click on the blue right next to it to name the file, whatever you wanna name it. And then you can select the location that you wanna place it. We'll place it on the desktop, then do Save. Then you go to Output Module, click on the blue right next to that. We're gonna click on QuickTime. Then we're gonna to go to Format Options. Then for Video Codec, we're gonna do Animation. Click OK. Then we're gonna to go to the Channels. Go to the drop down. Go to RGB plus Alpha. This is very important because this is what allows the exported video file to have transparency by clicking the, the RGB plus Alpha. After that, you're gonna click OK. And then after that, you're gonna click Render. If you liked this pack, check out this other free pack right here. 